In a heartfelt and inspiring revelation, King Charles has first shared the details of his battle with cancer for the first time since his diagnosis in February, as he conducted the investiture at Windsor Castle. His story of courage and strength was made share during his grand investiture, an event that was marked not only by the splendor of royal tradition but also by the remarkable presence of a monarch who is both a symbol of resilience and hope. The monarch looked healthy and was always smiling as he greeted 52 recipients one by one during what is his first investiture ceremony in five months. Among the people honored today was the Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby, who described last year's coronation as deeply moving as he was made a Knight Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order for his key role in the event. Awards of the Royal Victorian Order are in the King's gift and are bestowed independently of Downing Street to people who have served the monarch or the royal family in a personal way. The Mail revealed last week that the King had been given permission by doctors to conduct his first investiture since December following his diagnosis for cancer. During his investiture speech, King Charles addressed his battle with cancer for the first time publicly. He expressed gratitude for the overwhelming support he had received and shared insights into his journey. This battle has been one of the most challenging experiences of my life, he said. But it has also been a journey of immense learning and growth. I am deeply grateful for the love and support of my family, friends, and all the people who have stood by me. In his speech, King Charles also emphasized the role of medical advances in his treatment and recovery. He praised the dedication and expertise of the medical professionals who had cared for him, noting that their efforts were instrumental in his journey towards remission. The news of King Charles's cancer diagnosis came as a shock to the world. The announcement was made with a statement from Buckingham Palace, which conveyed the severity of his health condition while also assuring the public of the King's determination to fight the disease. The statement read, His Majesty King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer. Despite this challenging news, the king remains optimistic and committed to his royal duties. King Charles's journey through cancer treatment began immediately following his diagnosis. He underwent a series of rigorous medical treatments, including surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. The king faced each stage of his treatment with a positive attitude, bolstered by the support of his family, the royal medical team, and the unwavering loyalty of his subjects. The King has become an advocate for cancer awareness, using his platform to promote regular health checkups and the importance of mental and emotional support for those battling the disease. King Charles's story is not just about his battle with cancer. It is a message of hope and resilience. His journey has shown that even in the face of adversity, it is possible to find strength and courage. His experiences have also underscored the importance of a strong support system, the power of positive thinking, and the significance of early detection and advanced medical care. Today's investiture was his largest indoor ceremony since last year but was notably on a slightly smaller scale than usual. He greeted each of the 52 recipients personally, rather than the 60 to 70 who are normally invested. Dame Jilly Cooper said King Charles appeared to be delighted to be back handing out honors today and described receiving her award as orgasmic. He seemed very pleased. He looked really, really well and was very jolly. He asked if I was going to Royal Ascot because he thinks he might have a good horse this year. As King Charles continues his reign, his experiences with cancer will undoubtedly shape his approach to his duties. His story serves as an inspiration to many, showing that challenges can be overcome with determination and support. The King's commitment to raising awareness about cancer and promoting health and well-being will be a significant aspect of his legacy.